Um, okay. What was oh, I needed? I was ranting about something. Um, okay, improving. So, uh, let me mute the music for this. So, people will always, um, people always say like, or people always like, put themselves down or like, be like really self-deprecating when um talking about like. Uh, like climbing and stuff, right? Like my win rate on this account is actually like trash for my like standards. I'm 52 and 18 right now. I'm actually below 75% since the first time I started this account. But um, um, <clears throat> another player like would like love to have like a 70. What am I right now? 73, 74% win rate going to plat or whatever, right? And um, people always ask like, well, like. Were you good when I start? When were you good when you started? Like how long did it take you to get good? And then when I give them my answer, it's about like a year, maybe less, like maybe like a little over a year. After like a little over a year of playing this game, I without any prior mobile experience, any like competitive experience with a game that had a ladder or anything, I was diamond one. And people were like, "Wow, I've been playing for like three or four years, and like I'm like silver," and it's like. And they was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm so bad at this game, you know, I played so long and it took you so little, like, here's like, there's a lot of things you have to take into account. One, I played a lot. Um, actually, I probably only played like eight months out of that year, like, because I like had to stop for like a little bit. What? That's not the point. <laughs> the point is, um, the point is I played a lot in that time frame. Um, uh, even though I took like a, a few months off, like I only played like, probably total eight of those 12 months of that year to get to Diamond 1. Like when I did play, it was very like focused, it was very concentrated play. I was playing a good like 10, 10 games a day, you know? And um, like the time frame, like you might have played League for like four years, but you might play like one game a day and you've learned like absolutely nothing. And um, it's not only how much you play, you know? It's what your goal is and like what you're trying to get out of playing, you know? A lot of people play League of Legends for fun. That's completely fine, you know. League of Legends, like they play, they play for fun. And that's it, you know. They don't care about like winning or losing, and that's fine, you know. That's completely fine. If you just want to play League for fun, that's completely fine, you know. But for me to have fun, I had to be winning more than I was losing, you know. May, like, and even sometimes, even when I was winning more than I was losing, you know, I got pissed off every single time I lose because that's just that's who I that's who I am. I'm very competitive, you know. I fucking hate to lose, you know. I try to win 100% of the games like I could, I play, you know. Sometimes I put more effort in, th into it than other games. Like when I play on this account, you know, I, when I lose, I'm laughing more than upset. When I lose on my main, you know, different story. But um, your drive to get better and like how much effort you put into the game is very different, you know. I might play 10 games a day and every single game I write down everything I did wrong. I take note on my desk. I watch the replay of it in queue. And I play 10 games a day. Whereas another dude might be like, oh yeah, I just got off from work for the weekend. Crack open some, some cold ones with the bros. Play 10 games of flex queue. Wasted as hell. Wake up the next day. Don't even remember playing any of those games. You know, Those 10 games are very different from my 10 games. You know, I learn from every single game that I'm playing when I'm locked in because, you know, I'm trying to get better, right? I'm, I'm putting a lot of effort into those 10 games. Whereas that, those guys, they're playing those 10 games and they're just having a good time, you know? And not to say that I'm not having a good time because what I enjoy is improving at the game. And, you know, we both have fun in our different ways, but obviously one is way more productive for getting better than the other. Which is why I really hate it when people say like, yeah, dude, I've been playing the same time as you and I'm always silver, you know? It's like, yeah, like you might be playing the same amount as me, like the same time as me, but like how 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 many games are you playing every day, you know? How, how serious are you taking the games, you know? Without like that context, it doesn't matter like at all, you know? Um, if you play like one game a day and you don't care about getting better, uh, for five years, you know, then you're obviously like not going to get better very fast, you know It's not a good idea to compare yourself to me in most cases just because I from the start when I played this game And I realized I liked playing this game. I was like, I want to be good at this game First it was like I want to beat all my friends, you know I want to be higher ranked than all my friends and then next it was like I want to be um, Higher ranked than all my teammates, you know, and then after that it was like I want to be 
highest rank like jungler or highest rank. And just I just kept setting goals for myself, and you know I'm very competitive naturally. Just you know for some people finding that competitive drive is harder than others, but for me at the very start when I started playing this game, I at the very start when I realized I like this game, I was like I want to take this game serious. I want to be really really good, like, and so I put my mind to it, and that's what I did. You know, it's very different. Like, I'm not saying it's bad to play league for fun. You know. If you're not having fun with the league, you shouldn't be playing it either. Like when you when you're not having fun with the league, the last like you should just stop playing rather than continuing to play and then going on Reddit two hours later and saying League of Legends is a shit game just because you like lost in solo queue because you're like a dumbass who like played tilted or something. That's the complete opposite. If you don't if you don't have fun playing the game, then don't play the game. And if you want to get better, then you know talk is cheap. You know I could say like I want to be in the LCS, but if I just don't actually like if I just play ten games a day, but like just to fulfill a quota, like it's not gonna do anything for me, you know. Like I have to actually put in like the effort to improve, you know. It's a diminishing return when you play um, a lot of games, and also like as you get higher, um, you actually have to put a lot more effort into like learning from your mistakes in those games than just playing, you know. When I was playing Loilo, like I didn't even know how to play the game, like uh, so I was literally just learning, like oh. Uh, it looks like Ezreal as uh, W slows my attack speed. It doesn't anymore. But like, like literally, I was learning like champion abilities like as like I was playing, you know. And like, obviously, you don't have like you don't have to like do the same thing. Like you take notes after every death and stuff, every every mistake you make in a game until you're like really high, like because that's when like those like really tiny little minute details start to really matter. Um, but like if you're just like I grinded from like. What was I? It was like 1200, 1100 ELO, which is like the equivalent of like, I guess, bronze then, bronze today. Like, and I just played like all the way up to, all the way up to like Diamond 1 without like even really noting all of my games. I was just, I would mentally like compartmentalize what went wrong in a game. And then I go into the next game and I try not to make the same mistakes and I just learn from it, you know? Um, playing a lot is like the big, is another big thing, you know? Like, and I'm not saying normal games. Normal games are useless, um, almost useless. Um, like people who are like, I'm stuck at a, I'm stuck at a silver one, right? Please look at my OPGG. And it's like, I look at their OPGG and they have got like 20 ranked games this season. Like that doesn't, literally doesn't mean anything. Like if I was like the most unlucky guy in the world, I could literally have like played 20 games and been like silver, like 10 and 10. If I was like, if like those 10 games, like. It's very possible that I just had like a raging, flaming, like AFK, Mexican internet disconnect every five minutes, 2000 ping guy in all 10 of those games, and I lose all 10 of those games. But like in reality, I'm such like, um, once I get teammates who actually use two hands to play League of Legends, that I'll win like 90% of my games. Like, it doesn't really, like, that's such a small sample size. Even like 100 games is a pretty small sample size. Like, you don't get that much from like 100 games. I think it takes you at least like 300, 400 games to get like a decent idea of where you're at. And like that dude I coached earlier today, I've been coaching that guy for a long time, Arch Troll or whatever, that Hecarim guy. Like he has like, I think close to 400 games, something like that. Like, and he he's not even at his true elo yet because he still hasn't played enough. Like, because you can always get better too. That's the other, that's the great part about League of Legends. You know, if you suck, you can always get better. You know, even if you don't suck, you can still get better. I get better every day, you know. I improve, like, obviously, like, it's not as drastic, you know. Like, if you're a bronze player, you literally don't know shit. So, like, maybe tomorrow you wake up and you, you've turned into Albert Einstein and you suddenly, like, have diamond-level knowledge of the game, you know. Whereas, like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting better every day, too. It's just, like, the things that I'm fine-tuning are way less drastic than, like, someone from a lower elo. But, like, you get better as you play, you know. Obviously, like I said earlier, there's a diminishing return once you're very, very high because the things that you mess up are so tiny and microscopic and deep in um, stature, like compared to like the mistakes, uh, the stature of mistakes like a bronze or a silver level player will make. But you know that's that's not the point. Um, so going back to the original topic, like don't judge yourself against other people. Don't judge yourself um, based on how long you've played. But judge yourself on how much you've put, how much effort you've actually put in. And effort is not playing 10 games and just like not caring about win or lose on all of them, you know? And just like 
you play them and then you forget them. You know, that's not the same. If you put a lot of effort into improving, you put a lot of effort into actually getting better at the game. Not saying I want to get better, but actually going through the steps of looking at the mistakes you make, taking notes on like the mistakes you make, and understanding why you lost the game and learning from it, and you still can't get better, that's when you look for a coach or that's when you start to um, that's when you start to look inside and really figure out like do I am I am I just stupid or like okay that sounds awful but like that like if you've actually put in effort like a lot of effort and you like don't see any improvement at all then that's when you should start like worrying you know but like if you just said like I played this game for X and X amount of time I played this game for X and X amount of time and I'm still not as good as X and X person who's played X and X amount of time um, you have to you don't know you know someone's rank you don't know their story you know that's really it <laughs> that, that's what I could sum this up to like my one year is not the same as your one year unless you did the exact same thing as me which I highly doubt so don't judge yourself against me you know that's that's not a good way of looking at it Alright, how long was that? That was a... Uh, I don't know, I'm really thirsty now.